Hello guys and welcome to the final Wine Wednesday of the year. I know there's a Wine Wednesday in the week after but I might be busy that week with work and such not so I may not get to a wine video that week but I will be back in the new year with wonderful new wines for you guys to try and review and all that good stuff. Um, but this week's wine is a wonderful choice. It's a Christmas present I got. It is the Barefoot Sweet Red Blend. Um, and I also got this wine glass as a Christmas present, so I figured it paired so well together. I know it's not a big wine glass for red wines, but guys, it's Christmas themed, so I had to do it. It says, Dear Santa, just bring wine. And he brought wine, so here we are. And I also, guys, I apologize. My Christmas sweater I wanted to wear for this episode, I could not find to save the life of me. It was basically a Christmas sweater with cactuses and deserts and all that good stuff on it. And I don't know where it went, but I found something equally as wonderful. It's my Black Friday 2019 t-shirt that me and my friend wore when we were Black Friday shopping. We have a thing, we theme it, everyone has the same sweater or shirt. It's amazing. So this is where I'm wearing. This one says, thankful and blessed Black Friday obsessed. And we are Black Friday obsessed. So yeah, that's the shirt I'm wearing for this lovely and final episode of the year. And of course my little Santa hat. So without further ado guys, let's get straight to the wine. So I had to do some research because I've never heard of this wine. I've seen it, but never heard of it. And it basically it's a, it's a Zinfandel and Pinot Noir family wine. It's a combination of both of those together. So this should be interesting to try. I'm pretty sure it's gonna have some raspberry and plum in here, but as far as anything else goes, I have no idea guys. So this will be something interesting for us all to try on the spot. We'll sample here. All right. Swirl this wine anyway, regardless of the glass size, guys. Ooh, it smells delicious. It smells really sweet, and it is a sweet wine. So, um, this you would want to pair with like roasted vegetables. I think it says roasted vegetables, right, guys? Uh, pair as well with marinated flank steak, grilled vegetables, and all sorts of spicy treats. That sounds like the wine for me, guys. Let's give, ooh, actually, you know what? It even tells you what's in it on the back of it. Ooh, luscious aromas of black cherry and plum. I mean, I'm not a huge cherry fan, but guys, it's got plum in it. I'm good to go. Plum is good. All right, let's give this wine a try, and I'll tell you guys what I get out of the wine. Ooh, ooh, wow, oh. Um, okay. That very sweet taste hits you immediately. It's like, woo! And then you get a taste, I believe it's the cherry you taste after that. So plum hits you first, and then you get a burst of cherry. You're like, woo! I'm just not sure I like the cherry flavor, but then again, I'm like, it's subtle. It's not terrible, but this is actually surprisingly a great wine. Um, knowing nothing about it and having no information on it whatsoever, I'm classifying this as a really interesting wine. Um, yeah, let me flavor this again because I'm getting other flavors, but I can't tell what they are. Hmm. There's definitely another fruit in there. I want to say raspberry, but I might be wrong. I'm going to say raspberries in there too. But you get a bit of the cherry. You taste the cherry for sure. And the plum, that's definitely a guarantee. But I want to say there's a hint of raspberry in there too because it's very sweet. And I know plum is sweet, but I don't think it's that sweet. So there's got to be some raspberry in there because I definitely taste another fruit, like a raspberry in there. Another berry in there. Um, yeah, that's definitely a good red wine. I'm impressed. I never in my wildest dreams did I think this would be actually a good wine. I've seen it and I'm always just like, oh, it looks kind of eh, iffy on the reds. But no, I, um, I do like it. I do not mind it at all. Um, what is it on? It's a sweet red blend. It's more of a interesting it's in the middle between a rich wine and a rosé wine it says on the scale for that which is interesting um on barefoot wine on the back of their labels they have like their, their like scale of how dry or sweet it is and it's middle of the road so this is a middle of the road wine it's not too dry and not too sweet it's just in the bare minimum in the middle so it this is good um I would definitely go ahead and share this with people. I wouldn't want to drink this whole bottle myself, obviously. No, I want to drink a whole bottle by myself anyway. But this is definitely a good like gathering wine. If you're having a small get together for the holidays, 
definitely give this a shot. Um, it's surprisingly really good and it'd be a great little um, a wine if you're having a you know, steak and vegetable. So yeah, there you go. Um, that's how I feel about it. Um, how would I rate this? Well, I don't really know because it's not really, there's no specific category for it. Cause like I said, it is in a Zinfandel and Pinot Noir family. It's kind of a mixture of both. So I don't know. It's good though. I will say guys it is super good. So if you're looking for an interesting wine to try for Christmas, um, give us a shot. I don't know how much it is because I didn't buy it. It was a Christmas present. So I can't tell you guys the price point, but I, did, but I can definitely tell you it's a good barefoot wine. And Barefoot so far has not disappointed me. They're pretty good with their wines and they know their stuff. So yeah, um, and Barefoot also is a budget friendly wine. So I'm assuming it probably is within the $9 range or $10 range for wine. I could be wrong on that, but in most cases when I buy Barefoot wine, usually around like $9.99. So yeah, um, all right. Well, that's my review of the wine. I really hope you guys have a wonderful holiday season. Merry Christmas, Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, whatever you celebrate. Did I forget anything? I don't know. Anyways, guys, enjoy your family. Um, be safe. Stay healthy. Don't get sick, guys. It's not fun. Trust me. I know I, ha I have friends currently that are sick and it's not a good time. So be well, stay healthy, and enjoy and happy new year as well. In case I don't see you before the, um, the new year. I hope 2021 is a better year for all of us, guys, because this year has just been one right after the other, if you know what I mean. And this is, and this was the year that I got into red wine, and that's saying a lot. So, there's that. Um, and I loved my time that I was away and on my vacation for that whole month. Um, that's a whole different story that you guys don't need to hear about on this channel. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please do like, comment, and subscribe. Comment with any questions, suggestions, or feedback, and definitely hit subscribe if you want to see more videos from me and hit the bell for notifications if you want to see this pop up more frequently on your page or whatever i mean you'll see it anyway in your subscription box but it'll notify you when i post the video that's what that does um yeah there you go thank you guys for watching and merry christmas to all and to all a good night bye guys